Welcome to the Texas Go Radio Show. I'm your host, Matorius. This is part 51 of the commentary Bertoria 10 hour documentary by the brilliant Milker Nation. And the parking garage clubbed you with shame, and that was love. Yes, I shouldn't have pulled in the wrong direction. That sign was. It's so weird that he picks these. Now, okay, I get it. Right, you should be respectful operating a motor vehicle, obviously. But it's so weird that he picks such strange things to virtue signal about. It's just and moral. That sign was to help the flow of men going in and out of the post office. It was not tyranny. You got to understand the difference. The mask is tyranny. The mask is a subversive, sub, like the, the mask is tyranny. A sign saying do not enter this side of the parking lot is not tyranny. That's that's order in a community. Never pull out the wrong direction to it. Right, if I got an accident, that would be my fault. And I would be liable as a living man, which you have a bigger liability. Your birth certificate and all this stuff, all this insurance, dude, it gives you liability. It gives you more protection. Living as a living man on the land is terrifying, kind of. Because if you make a mistake, if you have a drink and drive your car, if you are going a little too fast, if you are not in honor and you hurt someone else, that's on you. Always remember that. Don't like one of my buddies who's a Marine recon legend in SEER school was taught what to do when you're being interrogated. I bet you'll never guess what you do when you're being interrogated. Don't lie. So when L.A. inevitably collapses into a giant hole, which is coming. Fear. Fact. <clears throat> I'm not and, and the reason why I'm, I'm going to call out fear and humiliation, because those are the two things that he says <clears throat> in previous videos. In a previous video, he said that he knows how they, uh, how the evil people do what they do. And it's through fear and humiliation. And so just pay attention that that's a long running theme with Owen Benjamin cares, Troy Smith, fear and humiliation. In the claim, could it be that LA uh, falls into a giant hole? The PO box is great because Bertaria donations go towards Bertaria, which is a full project. And I keep it all very straight and accounted. So my income has went down quite a bit since I've. That is, um, that's, that's a lie. He doesn't keep anything straight and accounted. No, he doesn't, especially not here. And him saying that his income has gone down a little bit. I mean, it's easy to say that whenever. I don't man. <laughs> Started doing these uh, fundraisers, which is totally understandable. I'm not complaining. All these, this political show provides a service. The medical industry provides a service. It's people that don't want to take any self-accountability for anything in their life, myself included. Like today when I went to the post office, I made sure I drove in the right way because yesterday I was chastised by a good man who pointed out I went in the wrong direction. Why did I do that? Because I'm selfish and I'm used to Babylonian insurance scams. I think... I can just go in this. It's, it's more convenient for me. It's not a tyrannical order to say the, the. I just realized that. The reason why he's making such a big deal of this is because he, somebody actually called him out for being a, a selfish prick in person. And um, he thinks that they watch his live stream. And so he is groveling for. Uh, I don't. I don't know, <laughs> but he, he def that, that's, that's it though. This is his reaction to someone calling him out in real life. Uh, traffic should flow this way. Okay. I pulled in, there was no one in the parking lot. So what do I do? I take up two spaces. There's like one other truck. There's like 50 spaces. Okay. Should I have done that? No, I get one space. I go in that direction. Why? Cause that's self-control of the living man. Okay, I'm still getting out of hell. I'm not out. If I, if I drive into the post office every day the wrong way, like I did that one day, um, I, uh, I need to be controlled. 
That's why there's statutes and acts and mandates. Because I am not a loving my neighbor enough. I'm not looking at that man that shook his head at me like a legend with a gun on his waist in Idaho, full of legends. There's a reason there's a lot of freedom in Idaho. It's because people know how to fix their own truck. People know how to grow their own food. People know how to be grateful and be in logos and know how to fucking live their lives. They're not babies. I don't know how to fix my truck. But you have to give back or else you become parasitic and it hurts you. Um, but it has nothing to do with money. Money's one currency. And if people want to distort me and make me sound like some money grubbing asshole that I'm not, I, I'll explain it every time. I know it. Here's the situation. There's been there today. <clears throat> I saw I haven't been as attentive in the comment section as I would like to be making these videos. <clears throat> I am going to uh, at one point I keep saying that. Anyways, um, somebody was in the comments section. It could have been Owen. I don't think it was just for the simple fact that they were encouraging questions and questions that are answered with this documentary. And this isn't slander. This isn't. Um, all this is, is putting a mirror, right? Putting a mirror to Owen Benjamin. That's all it is. Or making a window saying, hey, look, this, this is true because this is video. It's not taken out of context. This is what he has said. This is what he has said to his audience. This is who he is as a person. Hours and hours and hours of him. It can be tedious for the people that know this. Loyalty is way above money for me. Don't turn on me. When a gamma hive is spreading lies about me, don't turn. You know, think about all the people that I've helped and made laugh and all this stuff, and they contributed nothing. And then when gammas start being like, oh, he's a cult leader, he's evil, he's this, and they just fucking stab me in the back. Not only are you not contributing, you're a parasite, and I don't have to do shit to you. No one's going to do shit to you. You're fucked. It always comes back. Those people do not have good lives. And so just really think about that when you're tempted by a gamma hive. Oh, I've always been envious of Owen's barn attic. Now it's my turn to fucking make myself feel better. Oh, yeah, I still jerk off like you've never jerked off, Owen. Oh, Owen's the pervert. Owen's really the gay guy because he's the one who keeps telling people not to watch pornos. That means he wants to watch the pornos. Dude, you're addicted. I'm going to keep fucking helping people as much as I can. I haven't watched porn. What, what, what is the service? What help is he offering? There's no, he doesn't say anything. He doesn't say anything. And the things that he does say, you can find it. You can find better versions of it everywhere else, anywhere else. Without the vulgarity, without the, without that, what we just saw for five seconds or however long that was. In four years. And let me tell you something. What? Who keeps telling people not to watch pornos. That means he wants to watch the pornos. Dude, you're addicted. I'm going to keep fucking helping people as much as I can. I haven't watched porn in four years. And let me tell you something. You see clear. You see like a fucking lighthouse on a flat earth. And I won't stop because of your gay shaming. Because you're like that. Yeah, gay. Because of your gay shaming. You can see it in his eyes whenever he says something that he wishes he wouldn't have said. Amos, you're like that fucking lighthouse on a flat earth and i won't stop because of your gay shaming because you're like that yeah gammas you're like that because you won't stop and so either you're wrong or i'm wrong and because you're fucked up addictions you've made your choice the big bear has to be the secret uh pervert or else that means i'm wrong cheers to you well, what about your 10,000 hours of mastery of your own cock?
If you put that time towards guitar playing or piano or comedy or something, you'd be really good at things. I was about to say I'm the best thing that ever happened to the Jews. Of course, that was Jesus. Then he killed. they killed him. Uh, so I'm not going to put myself in that category. A living man has to have a purpose, and it can't be a lie. More people are, they, they, it, when you're lying, it doesn't function. And here's like uh, here's the benefit of not being a liar. Like, for example, um, this. Remember yesterday I was talking about this story? I even remembered the name of the statue, Valentina, 18 years ago. Why do I remember? Because I don't lie to myself. My memory, except for some drinking situations, but my memory in general is like a steel trap. Because it's like... If you lie to yourself, you have no memory. You're like, well, what did I tell people? Well, what was it really? Like, what did I want it to be? What? No, because your, your mind. <clears throat> so what, the his opinions just changed so much? Or, I mean, what is it? Because he, I wouldn't even say he really ever, I've, I don't think I've ever really heard him preach the gospel. He mentions some, mentions some scripture. <clears throat> Every once in a while, he'll he'll say Jesus's name. He'll say God a lot. But as far as preaching the gospel, I would have to say not really. Not from what I've seen. Now, he has preached other gospels that the uh, scripture warns us about. He has preached um, Luciferian ideology. It wants to stay ordered. It wants to crush. But if you lie to yourself, and these AI people all have agendas. It's about control. It's about manipulation. These AI people, artificial intelligence people, like NPCs or? And it's about power. It's about extraction, parasitic behavior. Like I do have a retarded memory and it comes from not lying and being an auditory learner. Like I learned through my ears more than my eyes. Like I can't spell. You look at other states. Um, <laughs> but it, it's uh, difficult for me to learn stuff. I have to see it, hear it, and do it in order for me to actually learn something. Besides Idaho to buy your land. Just and if one of those are missing, then I have to repeat the other two or the other one excessively for me to actually understand something. Well, I go with like where friends are and stuff. And I knew some really cool dudes in Idaho, and it's close enough to Amy's family where her 84 year old grandpa can drive. He's drive, he's driven here twice since we've been here. Uh, I'm talking about stupidity with understanding the ideas I'm saying and how, and how uh, logically it can't be what they're saying. Like literally can't be, but yet they're like, ah, and then, and then their entire worldview crashes and burns. It logically can't be what they're saying. It's insane how many times he says something about other people that it is him. It's, it's bizarre. When I point something like that out, so then I'm the devil. And because they can't get around it, they're like, y you're tricking me. You're, you're, you're tricking me. You're a cult leader. You know? And so I'm just like, that's why I just, I get away. That's why when people are like, everyone needs to listen to you. I'm like, the average IQ in America is 91. Half is under. Half is under that. And I know a lot of you are smart, but imagine 147. At lowest at this point, it's 140. At lowest. That's assuming, you know, brain, like being hit in the head or drinking or something. Like that's the lowest it could possibly be. It could be over 150. I don't know. But it's like, so orders of magnitude. <clears throat> and what's crazy is <laughs> the, uh, I'm, I very well may be wrong with this. I haven't looked into it too much, but some of the things that I've read about IQ tests, it's, it's, it's one of the, it's almost like pseudoscience. It's really hard to, I don't know. I've, I've just read things to where, and I've never taken an IQ test. And as you can hear, I'm, I'm not the, uh, brightest cookie in the light bulb store, as they say, but for how much he talks about the 147 and it could be over 150. That's the first time I've heard him say that could be over 150. 
I've talked to very, very intelligent people before. <clears throat> and not one of them, not one of them, highly educated. Now, there, there are, okay, whenever I say intelligent, people that know things, actually uh, know things, like wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, right? Very smart. Not one of those people. Some of them college edu educated, some of them not. Some of them, uh, yeah. But not one of them has ever been like, oh, I've got a one. I've never felt the need to mention their IQ level or even mention how intelligent they were because you could tell by talking with them, <clears throat> speaking with them. Now, the opposite, the people, there's not everybody that's college educated, but the more people that were college educated that I've talked to have said, well, I've got a degree in this. It's like, okay. <laughs> then answer the question. Like they throw out in conversations and arguments that they're college educated way more than they ever like proof points or counterpoint, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Orders of magnitude. And people are like, oh, you brag much? Dude, it would be so much easier to have 100 IQ. I could just, just fucking blend right in. Like, I'd be like, oh, yeah, totally. That makes total sense because I'm retarded. I'm a fucking retard. And I'm not trying to be a dick. Someone said everyone needs... Okay, so he said, he just said the average IQ is like 91 or whatever he said. So half of everyone is below that, the other half above that. He said, just having a hundred would make me easier to blend in because then I would just be retarded. <laughs> so it's this podcast. I'm telling you why they shouldn't. Because people that are too stupid, they think I'm the devil. And I know you guys, this, uh, this, this, so it's this podcast. I'm telling you why they shouldn't. Because people that are too stupid, they think I'm the devil. Humiliation. Anyways, this is the Texas Goat Radio Show, and I'm your host, Matorius. As always, till next time.